everyone, it's Caroline or Miss B Overseas. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Normally here, we talk about books. Today, I'm going to be switching things up a little bit and talking about myself and books, don't get me wrong, because uh, the lovely Sam from Griff Reads tagged me to do the small booktuber tag. Like a good YouTuber, I will of course leave her video and channel linked down below. That way, if you are not already subscribed to her, you can go do that. I'm not gonna lie to you all, when Sam tagged me to do this video, I was like, am I even big enough to be even considered a small booktuber. Like I think I more fall in the minuscule booktuber category. And then I thought to myself, Caroline, you know what? That's silly. There are no small booktubers, <laughs> only small books. <laughs> That's the part of the video when I'm like going through the analytics where the viewership will just drop off immediately off the face of the earth. So if you stuck around after that, thank you so much. You clearly put up with a lot, must put up with a lot during your day-to-day -day life. Like any tag video, there's just a series of questions that I am going to answer about myself and books and booktube, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. First question actually isn't a question at all. It just says to introduce yourself. So hello, my name is Caroline. I am a middle school English teacher. I am in my fifth year of teaching. My first couple of years of teaching, I taught in Arizona in the US. And now I am currently in my second year of teaching in Dubai in the UAE. Uh, hence the name, Miss B Overseas. My last name starts with a B and I'm teaching overseas. That's where that came from. I don't really know what else to say when introducing myself ever. And I don't want to ramble on for too long and I don't want to give away any like things that could be included in further questions in this video. So I'll just go ahead and tell you, what do I want to tell you? My favorite cereal is Honey Bunches of Oats. I could eat it every single morning and afternoon and night every single day. The first real question of this tag is how long have you been on booktube? And I believe that my first video that I ever posted on booktube was my August TBR. So that's a pretty clear indicator. So August of this year is how long I've been a creator on booktube, but I am a new creator, long time viewer. This question says, what type of videos do you make? And if you just scroll through my channel, uh, you can see that I pretty consistently post TBRs at the beginning of the month and then wrap ups at the end of the month. And then anywhere in between that, I try try being the operative word to do some sort of themed reading vlog and then uh, any mix of like recommendations videos or just tag videos or videos that tell you more about me as a reader. I really don't think that there's any bookish video that I wouldn't film or wouldn't try to attempt that maybe like a bookish skit type video. Do those kinds of videos exist? Uh, if they do, I would love to watch, but I would not love to participate. I am not nearly quirky or funny enough for that. I can never figure out where to look with these things. Do I look in the viewfinder or do I look here? What do you guys think? Is it better if I look here or here? Option one, option two. Next question is what do you love about booktube? And uh, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I could ramble on and on and on, but I think that just the biggest thing, the most prominent thing that comes to my mind is just having a community of people that is passionate about reading and stories and books. My absolute favorite part of being an English teacher is the opportunity to get to talk to kids about books and talk about what I'm reading with them and talk about you know what they're reading and recommending things based on what they like and dislike. And while it's great to talk to 11 year olds about what they're reading. Uh, I so often find myself wanting more and wanting to uh, talk to people around my same age about books and what they're reading and what they like and what their reading preferences are. I just, I love that. I find those topics of conversation so interesting, which is what booktube is. So the fact that there is this whole community that finds those topics of conversation interesting as well is just 
one of the best things on this planet. Next question asks, what type of books do you read? And I know that I struggled with my answer to this question when I filmed the booktube newbie tag and my struggle to answer this question isn't gonna change. I don't know how to answer this because there's not one specific genre or age range or like fiction or nonfiction. I truly read it all and find enjoyment out of it all. I think that if I could narrow down a preference, I just want to read books that make me feel things. Any books that evoke any kind of heightened emotion or any books that teach me things that I otherwise wouldn't have known before or just teach me more about the world around me is the kind of book that I find myself wanting to pick up and enjoy. Next question is, uh, what is your favorite video that you have ever made? And uh, I'm gonna be honest, I have felt self-conscious posting every single video that I have so far, uh, but each time, I post, I find myself gaining a little bit more confidence. So hopefully that'll just keep happening. I don't know that the self-consciousness is ever going to go away. Putting yourself out there on the internet is just daunting in general. One type of video that I am discovering that I really enjoy the prep work behind filming is recommendation style videos, particularly recommendation style videos that aren't your typical like genre based recommendation style video. I've posted one that's like historical fiction recommendations for people who don't like historical fiction. And then I recently posted a video where it was a twist on the if you like this, then you'll like this style recommendation video. And uh, it was twisted to be if you didn't like this, try this instead. And I really enjoy the challenge of finding books that fit certain themes or prompts and things like that and then really thinking through how to recommend books to people. I feel like teaching is definitely something that showed me that something I enjoy is recommending books. So recommendation style videos with a twist definitely are my favorite kinds of videos to do the prep work behind and there are some videos that I've posted so far that I have been the most satisfied with. And the last thing there is for me to do is to tag a bunch of other small booktubers to also film and upload this tag and uh, I didn't exactly know how to go about doing this or picking who I wanted to tag so what I ended up doing is uh, I went and searched the booktube newbie tag and uh, I realized that that's something that I should definitely do more often I filtered it by upload date and I found just a bunch of new people and I realized that like Caroline you're so stupid that's what the booktube newbie tag is for this is what you should have been doing so uh, I know better now there are three people in particular who I found who I really enjoyed watching their newbie tags and then also their subsequent videos that I binged it so I hope that this isn't intrusive but I'm going to tag them even though I've never really interacted with them before uh, obviously only do this if you want to and I hope that you don't think that it's too weird that I found you through the newbie tag and am now immediately tagging you to do a different tag video but here they are I am tagging Kat from Catcetera Andy from Red by Andy and then also Sappho from Sappo reads books. Of course, if you are watching this and you feel so inclined to do the small booktuber tag, I absolutely tag you as well. I will leave all of their channels linked down below. Please go check them out. I think that they're gonna do some really cool things. We are already doing really cool things on booktube. Always thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about me. I just jiggled the camera a little bit more about me and my reading tastes and preferences and just me being here a small booktuber on booktube. Have a great day. Goodbye.